the Keebler off here. All right, here we go. There we go. All right. Hey, it's KK Metal Boys man on the street. So I was saying, anyway, about fucking, this is a pre-show. This is a backstage of Rock and Roll Dress Room. We don't want to hear how you fucking grew up, all right? That's right. All we know is you grew up, sort of. And with that note... <laughs> Hey, it's KK, Metal Boys Man on the Street. I'm in Daryl's house with Eric Martin. Ta-da! That was PJ Farley, by the way. It doesn't way. matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Does it really? PJ Farley, Fozzie, Trickster, who gives a shit, band. And number right. band. Yeah. The Eric Martin band. All right. All right, he gets a medal. All right. All right. So, so it's been a long sorry. time. I haven't seen you yeah. since, what, September, Shanker? Yeah, the Sony Theater. There you go. That was a... It was a good did, show. I loved around, it. Right? Yeah. Around, did you, I put you on a list. Yes, you did. Thank you. Did. Very nice guy. Very Never nice pays. Guy. Never, and you know why? Because you're on the guest list forever. That's how I look at it. Thank you. Boom. Now, you told me something that night, some uh, big news coming out, that you said Billy Sheen would unleash. Uh, would Billy you, uh, Sheen is unleashed? He unleashed it. <laughs> yeah, well, he was talking about on, on uh, Trump, but I'm here to tell you, folks, I mean, I've been kind of talking about it lately. You, but you, you mentioned it last year. I did, but I still can't really say the drummer now, but I, I'm, if that's what you got to hear, huh? Well, look, yeah, um, Mr. Big yeah, is definitely going to happen. It just, there's no question about it. It's going to happen in the middle of uh, 2023. Summer? Yeah, and, and it's going to be multiple dates. But I know it's, well, we're working on the U.S. and a possible, you know, tour. Uh, you know, <laughs> look at me, I'm too afraid to speak, you know, because I'm this guy. We don't want to get him in trouble. Well, I don't want to break up the band again, so... We, Listen, are, we are doing it. Paul, Paul is involved. Obviously, Paul Gilbert, the original guitar player. Billy Sheehan, the spirit of Pat Torpy, and there will be a phenomenal drummer. The guy, the it drummer, won't be Matt Starr. No, it won't be Matt Starr on this thing. You know, Matt's doing his own thing. I think he's playing with Ace Freely now. Ace Freely. So, you know, we have this new drummer. He, I, I, I will tell you that he sent like an audition video, and I watched it, and it was... Uh, Lucky This Time, which is on a song that we hardly ever did because mainly me, because it was really hard to sing it. And it's it's on the Lean Into It album. And what he did was, he, he thought he'd like one up the, the audition. So he played drums on it, and he sang the lead and the harmonies on everything. And it was, it was phenomenal. This that guy, is this guy. one of my favorite albums. Let's get over. That it, oh, yeah, let's, let's get, get over. over. Yeah. Lean into. I, I, I didn't bring it. We got a bunch of I, so, I have a bunch. Hey, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll check this out. Get it. We'll like, uh, we'll suppose we'll lean into it. I have train. to now. Now I have to go. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. That is your. I got excited. I mean, look. I can't. I don't want to mention the guy's name until the press release comes out. Okay. The, fair, fair enough. Yeah. But the guy really stepped up. That is, and everybody knows him. And then one really. Really cool thing is that he was a, uh, a big fan of Pat Torpy, and I totally noticed how when he, you know, when he did the, the video, when he hit the drums and the way he tuned the drums, he's he's got Pat down. He hit, you know, he, when he was playing Pat's snare hit, you know, or like, a, you know, the crack of the snare, it's definitely Pat Torpy. Yeah, I think Pat would be. Uh, I think he'd approve of this new mystery man. Good. And he just had a birthday recently, Pat? He did. You honored him very well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm speechless right now because uh, it doesn't, there's no excuse like, to just, just because it's his birthday. I mean, look, I honor and celebrate the guy every day. I miss him. I listen to, I, I even said that it's on my Facebook. I listen to this answering machine message. You saved it. I saved it. I saved, you know, like, I'm, I got like all the old rock star guys calling me, you know, and congratulating me for, to be with you or things that I've done. 
But I kept the one of Pat Torpy goes, uh, he usually goes, Eric, you know, yeah, go rock the boat, or stuff like that, right? But he goes, Eric, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Heavy rotation on MTV. And it wasn't, it didn't, you know, it, was, it wasn't number one, the song, to be with you. It was just heavy rotation on the video. Eric, I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared of all this attention. And then he goes, he says hello to my ex-wife. And he goes, hey, Stacy, how you doing? Hey, Pat, hey, I love you. And he goes, Eric, I got to tell you, you are really great in Denver. And he goes, he didn't say leaf on life. He always used to get that wrong. He goes, it's a new leaf on life. And he goes, you made me happy. Made me happy, Eric. I feel good about it. Uh, our our new adventure, our our new tour coming up. Oh man! Was this after the first album? Well, after the first album. It, no, it was, it was leading into it. Leading yeah, because okay. it was when, a success. When, when, to be with you. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, it was just we just did a video. It just came out on MTV and it was heavy rotation. And then we were going on the road with uh, Rush, you know. That's excellent. That's your first tour. It was our first. My friend Jay on the car on the way here. Talked about you playing the Mid Hudson Civic Center or something. Yeah, yeah, and he was there. Yeah. Oh, dude. Anyway, well, I, I'm so glad I have it. And you know what? I mean, you know, you can edit this anyway, but I'll, I'll give you just a taste of it if you'd like. Sure. Just to hear his voice, man. Sure. I don't want to mess it up there. Wait a minute. Pour and pour and pour and pour. And pour. Get way past that. No. I'm kidding, folks at home. Yeah, uh, no, I got like, you know, like Steve Perry uh, going, hey, you're such a big rock star, you don't call me anymore. I, I say it. I don't want to play that. I do it too. My I voicemail do. is clogged. I can't get any more in. I mean, my, I have my, my dad and my mother. People, I have people that passed away on there, and I do listen yeah. to their voice messages. You're cutting off my head. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yeah. That's much better. Now you have a head again. One way to get a head. Da, 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 da. All right, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. I have Jonathan Kane saying, talking about uh, Tony not to stop moving. Pretty much. Um, I used to do demos for Jonathan Kane back in the day. I think it was like right before you play music for the Journey guys. Mm -hmm. He'd go, Eric, come and sing on this thing. I go, I go, I would love to. I'm honored to do it. Yeah, I'll give you a couple hundred bucks. That never happened. He still owes you. He's, he owes, he owes Neil Sean, too, so don't worry. Put on books. Damn. Um, shit. I'm, I know this. It's it's here, folks. It really is. Well, it's an older one, so. You're going to edit this, right? Yeah. God damn it. I got my son. Yeah. He was a little boy. Um, I'm going to hit you with a couple of questions here. Go ahead. Oh, sure. The uh, Ronnie Montrose tribute album. Great song. Thank was you. Was that your choice? Did you pick it? I, I wrote it with Ronnie. Oh, you did? Yeah. I wrote it with Ronnie. Nice. Ronnie nice. and Eric Singer and uh, Ricky Phillips from the Babies. Yeah. Babies, yeah. Oh, shit. Here he is. Here's my yeah. big break in show business. Hello. Is it there? Yeah. Awesome! Fantastic! Yeah, Thank you, Anthony. Christmas. You're the best. Hey, you're getting a Christmas present. Uh, hey, you ever heard of PJ Farley? He's got a CD for you. Who cares, right? Anyway, hey, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Okay, buddy. Bye. Was it in the lobby? All right. Oh, hey, it was in the room, right? Oh, you rock, man. Hey, fuck. Anything, you, anything else you see in the room, uh, you can have. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, brother. Okay. Bye. Hey, any of those presents under the tree in the lobby are yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic, man. I left my... I'm telling you, Kevin. So, yeah, I left my backpack. Tell her. Tell her what happened. Uh, I left my backpack in the room. It has my in-ears, guitar picks, capo, new, you know, another shirt to wear, uh, you know, to coming out on, blah, 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 blah. 
when he got in the car, I said, you got your capo? Uh-huh. Got your in-ears? Uh-huh. Okay, off we go. Well. Same old shit, too, man. I lose it every day. And we were a lot alike. And the guy in the lobby, I go, hey, man, do you mind going to my room, you know? And he goes, my mind going to my room, I'm not there. <laughs> And Meet me there later. He had to check to see if my backpack is in there. So, yeah, he went up there. Room 216, by the way, at the uh, Hampton Inn. He won't come out. The Hampton Inn, PJ Farley's best hotel that he could get. Thank you, PJ. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm at the Hilton. He's not with you. He just picked you up there. Jackass. Still looking for it. Pat, so. You know, we got a show to do. What time is it? <laughs> This long-winded story. We got five yours. minutes with this. God damn it! We got. Oh, here it is. Here you go. I think wait, wait, wait. I save it too. Eric Martin, it's Pat Torpy. Uh, it's five o'clock. I guess you're not there. I got your call last night. Um, congratulations, Eric. I knew you had it in you. Damn it! Heavy rotation MTV today. We're going to heavy. Can you believe that? It's, it's amazing. I'm starting to get scared. All this good news. Oh, sweet. There's, wow. more, there's more to it, but it's, it's super private stuff. Thank but, you. That was uh, really uh, nice. Dude, it was super private. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Pat, no. No, no, no. The kid's at home. They can hear <laughs> every word. My password. My, my ATM pin code. Actually, you know what else, too? I, I, I found a couple pictures that I took of Billy and Pat, and I sent it to Pat, uh, to Billy, and he goes, oh, thanks, bro, man. Brings tears to my eyes. Yeah, I, was, I miss that guy so much. I mean, I think uh, his wife, Karen, said, hey, you need to keep going on with Mr. Big. It's okay, Pat. Pat would be fine with it. And, and I, didn't, I didn't want to, really. And then and when we got Matt, well, you know, Matt would play with us anyway, with Pat. And then oh, that's right. He was. And Pat played a cocktail kid. But we were contractually obligated to play in Australia with Extreme and then do a European festival tour with Fozzie, actually. PJ's, PJ Farley's new band. Yeah, no kids. <laughs> no, Fozzie. I love Chris Jericho. And I, I actually wanted Fozzie big time on that tour. But we played those gigs. And I look back, you know, and there was Matt, and Matt was great, but no Pat Torpy, and it's surreal to me. So, you know, I think everybody kind of felt like, ah, uh, you know, let's, we're still grieving. Let's take our take our break. So, break's over. We're back, good. and we're going to do our last tour. And with this new guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be good to see you. Well, yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I punched, so? I punched an elevator the other day. You did. In New York or San Francisco? Chile. Oh, wow. how was that tour? It was, was great, South America, but I got stuck Florida. in an elevator again. But, and you got stuck in an elevator in New York when I was supposed I to did. meet you. I did, I did, I did. I did, it, it, it was did. At, at the, I still have at the, the Sony, Sony Theater. <laughs> and I got stuck in an elevator in Chile, and God, this, you need to speak Spanish. They're, they're going, you know, in Spanish, we'll have you out in 20 minutes. And I'm like going, what? What? Like an idiot, anger issues later. So, with Big, the big coming back, will you still be doing these acoustic shows with the Eric Martin band? Will um, that still be a, will Mr. Farley still be? I don't know. Will Paul? Uh, Paul Pesco, PJ Farley, Don Hans, will I still be playing uh, hello, Paul. acoustic hey. shows? Hey, even you guys. This is Paul Pesco. Paul Hi, Pesco, the legend. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> legend of his own lunch time. Of course you will be. Those retirement PJ homes Farley. need entertainment too. Yeah, all you guys are cock blocking my interview, by the way. But that's hey, okay. Man. I mean, it's Christmas. Yeah, it's so, so good to be here. Oh, 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 oh